Hi, welcome. Today I would like to talk about the WCF concurrency modes and instance context. So let's get started. The easiest way to start thinking about this is there are essentially a table and on this side I have the instance context mode values uh, which are basically per session which means that an instance uh, of the service is created per session. A single would be that only one instance is ever created and per call is basically for every method uh, a new instance is created and toned down. And uh, as uh, for each of these instance methods you can have a con combination with cur currency modes such as single, reentrant or multiple. And single and multiple are pretty easy to define and uh, so let's just get started. So I have created a boilerplate service and I have it running already now and uh, just to be able to demonstrate what's going on what I've done is when the service instance is created uh, I just increment a counter and this is uh, done through locking so it does an interlocked increment and it creates a new file and TMP log and it will have the counter value so 1, 2, 3 and so on and uh, it's created and uh, this is just that means it's appended to the file so when the service instance is created it can create this file and I have two methods get data and get data using contract so we know what uh, instance mode is being used uh, I whenever this method gets called I say instance context mode and here is a way to print the instance context mode of the service and it's going to also print the concurrency mode and it just prints the values and flushes and that's what it is doing and this function is pretty much similar for the get data using data contract so let me just uh, run the test client here if i run the one of the methods say get data one time and uh, let's just run it and see what happens as you can see it created a log file log1.txt if I run this uh, method again, uh, it creates another file called log2.txt. So you can see there are two instance methods that created. So if you look at the contact of, uh, content of this file, you can see the context mode is per session and concurrency mode is single. So basically, uh, we that's what we are looking at per session and single. So if you look at uh, where we are in the table, essentially we are looking at this value and that's what we end up getting if we do the default so uh, you can see it's creating per session and uh, for um, that's uh, what happens if you do this so let's say if you want to play around and change this concurrency mode how would you go about doing that so let me just stop this and i have created uh, a value that we can uh, uh, experiment with Basically, the instance context mode is here set for single and I have set the concurrency mode to multiple. So let's see how this works. Okay, uh, let's get started. So I have the con instance context mode here as single and the concurrency mode is multiple. And if you look at the table, that's what we are looking at. So uh, we can verify that the instance mode is single by just running this uh, method and we can run this method and you can see i've run two methods but it's only going to create one file and uh, we can just open it and see the context mode is single but the concurrency mode is multiple and it did call the two methods get data and get data using contracts but you can see that the only one single instance of this service was created so this is how you can play around with this and let me just show you one more uh, before i kind of uh, move on to some other topic later okay so what i've done is basically change the instance context method for per call and leave the concurrency mode as multiple and uh, we can kind of see how that goes right now you can see there's no file in here so if i just go on to get data and run this and it creates one file and if i run it again it creates another file and if i just run a different method you can see it creates another file and for every time you run it it's going to basically create a new version and that's what uh, the per call method is if you wanted to see what what uh, what the value is 
uh, let me just show you on the first one because I think it uh, printed when only one of the methods is cost is mode is per call and concurrency mode is multiple so we are looking at uh, this uh, uh, entry in this table so hopefully you have learned uh, what you want to do is when you typically want to scale your service you want to either have it per session or have it per call and either single or multiple or you can also use reentrant but it's probably not uh, used often and just having a single instance is probably not very common because it does not scale very well so if you want to learn more about this and other things uh, you can uh, go to my website uh, gaur associates and you can search for this and other uh, videos uh, for example i'm just going to search for wcf here and see what shows up oh we got some lots of music videos that uh, you could be watching if you get bored so for example you want to search for wcf service you can just type it in that and see many other tutorials and uh, at my website and thank you for watching this short screencast